It's February, it's Valentine's Day, and it's all about love. At the risk of stepping on traditional toes here, it's been my experience that the term love is often overused and overrated. Well, in most formats. You all know one of my favorite affirmations is the ho'oponopono, I love you, I'm sorry, please forgive me, thank you. But when we say, I love you, to another person, what we're actually doing is reporting the state that we're in. It's us who loves, not the other person. That person is a passive recipient. Yet, tis the season that we all go out of our way to say, I love you, to all the important people in our lives, especially our significant others, and just try to skip it and see what happens. While most women I know will claim they want to hear these words, and hear them often, at some point it becomes a knower-judger, fairly knee-jerk statement of our condition, and we don't pay much attention to it. It's like stopping at a stop sign or waving back at someone who's waving at you. It's done on autopilot. So why do women, and lots of men, want to hear this from their partners? Because in today's hustle and bustle, it's better than nothing. But there could be a more connective way, one that enhances relationships even better than saying, I love you. While saying those words involves the other party in a passive way, using other phrases, such as, I appreciate how you decorated that room. Your input in this is invaluable to me. I, I couldn't do it without you. You look absolutely handsome this evening. Your comment at that meeting was spot on. These types of comments relate to the other party in an active way. You have to refer to events and values in order to make them. It defines the state of a relationship, not just what state you're in. So what's the difference, you ask? I call it an active I love you versus a passive I love you. The generic Valentine's Day version of I love you, after about the 27th time, I believe, becomes a learned activity. One that calms down the other person or gets me out of trouble. As long as I tell her I love her, she can't really stay mad at me now, can she? That's when she totally realizes you're just reporting the state that you're in. You're not hearing or respecting her. You're just placating her. And after a while, it becomes difficult to differentiate between that use and a more legitimate use. But elevate your opinion of his or her value by using an active statement when it involves the other person by establishing their worth to you and everything changes. We all yearn to be appreciated for our value to others and to the world. A simple I love you really doesn't accomplish that. It's better than a poke in the eye, but I appreciate you for, place important value here, involves the other person and tells them that you notice. It's a difference of night and day. The problem is, we can't fit all those words on these little valentine hearts. You'll have to remember them without the little sugar cue cards. I appreciate you, my video watchers and article readers, for checking the HD Clarity newsletter out each month. I couldn't or wouldn't be doing this going into my sixth year without your comments, feedback, and following. Many of you have helped me connect with individuals and corporate clients who've had a significant impact on my life and my practice. Please continue to feel free to comment on the video, email me, or pick up the phone and call. I'm Kim DeMott, Corporate Co-Driver, and this is another moment of clarity.